Never have I ever had an uncomfortable moment on public transport. <laughs> of course you have. Course. Can you tell me a particular one? No, I cannot. But it was a long night and a lovely morning. <laughs> Sounds juicy. Never have I ever had an awkward conversation with your taxi driver. Yeah, he wouldn't pick me up. And this, yeah, that that, that, <laughs> that one too. That one. Yeah, I got 13 of them one time yeah. wouldn't pick me up. Yeah, that one. Never have I ever gotten revenge. Could be on the taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever been in a sequel. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. Never have I ever preferred a sequel to the original. Ever? You have. You prefer to see which one you prefer? God, Godfather one. Uh, Godfather two. See, I, I, people say that all now. Why do you prefer Godfather two to one? Because Godfather two was more about business over family, which was the destruction, I think, of the mafia. Godfather one was family over business, which was great, but when it became business over family, the, the drama really kicked. Okay, out. if you could only choice. have one performance from the two movies. If you had to get say, okay, I'm gonna take out one performance, would it be Brando in one or De Niro in two? It'd be De Niro in two. You take that one out. Yeah. But still two better than one. As a movie. Okay. Yeah. What is the most memorable moment that you had from filming? Oh, the rain. <laughs> it kept splashing water on me. I was slipping and sliding. The pigeons were biting me, the seagulls. It was cold. Yeah. It was raining. Yeah. I hated it. I didn't like Antoine. He kept bothering me. <laughs> and then that? next thing you know, we will finish. <laughs> now, it. you know, I was watching it. When you see the, the end of the film, I got to see it again. Because yeah. I don't know which cut is which. Oh. You know, when, yeah. when we're up there, when we're on stage, when we, the, yeah. the, the whole fight sequence is a series of a lot of different Yeah, jobs. you have to build that, and then we got the real set, which is way up in the sky. This big scene, sort of beach town, there's rain coming in. What's the reality like? Is it green screen? We shot as much as we could in camera. And then, you know, obviously those big, big wide shots where you're flying over the tower and everything, you uh, can't do that. But we shot it when the weather got colder and uh, we had giant Yes, we tanks. did. Yeah. We shot it when the weather got colder. That's true. Yeah, so, you know. Did you need a lot of soup afterwards? Because you had some soup in <laughs> I should have got some. I should have guys come to think of it. I wouldn't say it was tedious, but it's a lot of bits and pieces that you have to put it together. So this piece and that piece, mm -hmm. like you said, you build it, mm -hmm. and uh, and it, and you know it's a testament to to Antoine's work. This is your only sequel. So what is it about the Equalizer that made you want to do it as a sequel? Nothing. The the audience said they liked the first one. The studio said they wanted a second one. Richard wrote something I felt I could I could. Richard Wank, the writer wrote something that, that, that I loved, that I said, oh, wow, I, this was unexpected, and here we are. A couple of blankets and bowls of soup later. <laughs> That's all it was. That's it. That's as simple as that. They gave us the money. We, we cooked some soup. You know, we had two cameras and, and one water fountain. We sprayed some water, blew the wind, and next thing I know, I was in England doing an interview. There you go. This is what I'm imagining. There's a lot of people with water bottles spraying you from that's, different that's angles. All that's, that's all That's all that, yeah. Big water bottle, big. Yeah, yeah. So the fight scenes are just epic in this film. How does it work? Like, what stage do you learn choreography and how long for? At least a couple of months out, we had some great fighters and, and martial artists and MMA guys and stunt guys, and, and you know, you choreograph it all. and you know, plan it out so it could be safe. Was there injuries or slip-ups? Mm -hmm. or? No, no injuries because, you know, they prepare for all those things way ahead of time. Uh, you know, there's bumps and bruises. I, I, I don't say, have to do it. Anybody get hurt? No, no, yeah. just bumps and bruises, you know, things yeah. like that. You know, the, the guy in the, uh, the back of the car, you know, he, he caught a elbow once or twice, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, but he's a fighter. Yeah, that's he right. No, he enjoyed it. Yeah, he enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, he enjoyed he, it. He is excited about yeah. it. I think Denzel knocked them all the way yeah, back to the car. Yeah, I was trying my best. <laughs> what would you say is your favorite thing about each other? When I tried directing my first film, uh, Antoine Fisher, I was at home stealing from Spike and Antoine Fuqua. I realized how hard it is. I was like, oh shoot, what have I got myself into? Because now I'm looking at the construction of it. So the number one of the things, as, as, as well as us being friends and, and, and having great success together is the appreciation for what he does, for his abilities and, and what you don't see and how it all comes together and how much easier it is just to sit in your trailer and wait until your name is called and come out and do your little bit and go back in there. But the real work is in the construction and the, and the, and the building of, of, a, of a film and, and uh, 
the reason this is our fourth film is because he knows how to build films and I know how to act in them. And people seem to want to see him. He's a great man. Actor, human being, everything else. The thing I admire about Denzel is Denzel. We all see him as Denzel Washington, the great actor, the great human being. That part of it goes without saying. But he's, he'll call me and say, I want great, not good. Be great, not good. Mm -hmm. He teaches everyone around him to be great, not good. And even at his level, he's always pushing. 